Hey guys, what is up? The NeoCubist here. Welcome to episode two of my Skyblock Let's Play on my very own server, Neo Network, that you can play. IP down in the description and the top pinned comment below. Keep in mind you can play on Java or Bedrock, meaning you can play on your phone, whatever has Minecraft, you can play it with us. Anyways, in the last episode, we got a lot of progress done, as you can see. Go back and watch episode one if you haven't. Well, welcome back if you did watch episode one, if you didn't, ignore that. Okay, so I didn't really do a whole lot in between episodes. The only thing I did was I just mined a bunch of uh, the, I just mined my origin, got a couple of trees. We have a ton of wood, got a ton of coal. This thing is working beautifully. I did take all the cobblestone out of here and it uh, looks like it's just pretty much filled in with lapis, which is funny. So I did, I do have my cell wand, so I wanted to sell this and that was $66,000, let's go. And then 9,000 in the top chest, awesome. So that means we can finally upgrade this pickaxe because it's pretty shabby, dude. It has efficiency two, fortune two, and breaking. So we're gonna do slash enchant. I'm gonna click on to book, and we're gonna go ahead and get fortune three, and then we're gonna go ahead and try to max efficiency. We can't. We're close, but we can get mat. Oh, we can't do that either. But now at least we have efficiency four, fortune three. So check this out. Look how much better that is, dude. So I can get a lot of resources this way. Um, we have a lot of sugar cane. I've been putting that in my PV too. All the sugar cane, all the carrots and potatoes have just been going in here as well as saplings. So all of things are working well on the island. Today I wanted to finally build a little bit of a base and make the island look pretty as well as do some grinding because right now the island does look terrible. It's just a bunch of cobblestone. I'm like that's fine to start out with, but I always like to build. That's one thing I really enjoy in Minecraft. But to do that, we're gonna need a lot of furnaces. So that's why I kept literally all the cobblestone so that I could do this for you guys. Yeah, it's, oh, wait, 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 I don't want to make it all into those because <laughs> I'm going to make the biggest wall of furnaces you've ever seen because we're legitimately going to need all of them. Uh, maybe we'll do them like right here, something like that. So I'll be back in just a bit. Let me put a couple of furnaces down. Oh yeah, and I forgot, but whenever I started the video or right before I started it, I said I had completed a quest. Um, I think it was an island quest, so we're definitely going to check that out. I'm recording this episode right after I recorded the previous episode, so unfortunately we can't do any of the daily stuff like daily spinner, but make sure you're on the server and you're doing daily spinner every day because you get some nice stuff. As well as we can't vote because we already voted today, but make sure you're voting because you can get Bycraft gift cards to buy keys, ranks, whatever you want. Uh, let's see what we can get from this. We got poisoned. <laughs> we didn't really get anything good, I don't think. Just a bunch of like coal and poison, which... Honestly, it's not the best stuff you can get from it, but hey, it's okay. It's a lucky block. It's completely random, but make sure you guys are doing your lucky blocks because the more that you use your lucky block, the better the stuff in it gets. So it kind of scales as you break it. Oh yeah, I came back to show you the mission and then I just completely forgot about what I came back for. So island missions, tier one. Um, oh, I've already done this one. Have I claimed all these? Yeah, I think I did the tier two, I guess. Oh, I did minor. So that's 5k sky coins. And that's $50,000. Nice, dude. Cool. Wow, we actually have a ton of stuff. Okay, we're going to do IS deposit sky coins. We're going to deposit all 27K of these. It's 27,000. And we're going to definitely do a few upgrades. So I want my crops to be faster. I want the island generator to be better. And then I'll do another crop one. And we don't have any more money, I don't think. You can check by just going to IS bank and looking in your bank here. And we have like 11,000 sky coins. That may be enough for one of these. No, it's not. Um, I'm just gonna save them for now. I'm not really grinding mobs quite yet. I want to build like an area for that Now all these furnaces are going down for good reason. <laughs> I think I may have gone a little bit crazy I don't know if I necessarily need all of these furnaces um, But I want to be able to like get a ton of stone off the bat I want to build a factory that we're gonna put our cobblestone generator in We're also gonna build a more OP version of the cobblestone generator here pretty soon as well and uh, one of our content creators on the server, so I've been training some people to become basically YouTubers on the server. Uh, we have some streamers too, but a lot of them are YouTubers, and one of them named Mr. Data. It's, it's spelled like this, D4T4. Mr. Data right there. He has a cobblestone generator on his channel that you can follow along, which I'll be using to make this generator as well. So that's a cool little, cool little tidbit. If you want to build the exact one that I'm building, that's going to be how you can do it. But yeah, let me get to work on this. It's almost done. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the trees for now. I wanna build like a dedicated tree farming area. I think it's kind of silly that after all this long, I just have them strewn about randomly. So I am going to remove those and we're probably gonna switch out all the cobblestone for another material as well. As much as I love just having a giant cobblestone wasteland, I don't love it. Um, this chest is completely empty so we can move that. 
And then the bottom chest doesn't have like a ton of stuff, but like for now, I'm gonna probably put the chest like over here. Uh, just because I want to be able to access these furnaces. This might pop a bunch of items onto the ground. So we'll stand here and just click the same spot. Fun little fact, that's a good way to move stuff. And look, got pretty much everything. Nice. So look, we got two cell wands from our lucky block and this one too. So we're going to do slash merge cell wand like this. So I'm going to put one five use in here, one five use in here. Uh. Oh, they're not compatible? Hmm, let me figure this out. Okay, well, it's letting me merge the one use and the five use. Let me try this again. Five use and a six use. Yeah, I'm really not sure. Oh, there we go. Nice. I don't know what happened, but there we go. Now we have one cell on with 11 uses, which is perfect. So you just have to kind of play around with whatever slot they're in. I'm not sure why. Cool. And then we can go ahead and move this to <laughs> so many furnaces still left. I may have overcrafted just a little bit, um, but now we have an absolute ton. And I mean an absolute ton of furnaces. So I'm going to go ahead and just basically smelt as much stone as I physically can. So that means I'm going to have to gather a bunch of stone too. We can use our super breaker. And then with this level of efficiency, it's literally an instant mine. Oh no. I don't want to break that. Literally. A oh, and look, since we upgraded our island gen, did you see that? How some nether appeared in there? There's a nether rack. Okay. No, please. Not like this. Not oh, we didn't actually burn for very long. Um, but yeah, when you use Super Breaker, once you have Efficiency 4 like this, it just gets so fast. And I believe there's still, I think you can buy Efficiency 5. Let me just like, confirm that. But I'm 99% sure we can. Yeah, we can, but it costs 30, oh, it costs 37k? Well, let me tell you what, your boy is rich right now, so we're gonna buy it. Let's go! Now we got Efficiency 5, and we can stand here in mine so quickly. Cool. Okay, so I found an interesting offer on the auction house. Let's go ahead and put up all the wood that we have in our PV2. Put up all of this as well. So I was looking on AH because I was, you know, I need stone, right? Ideally, like smelted stone. And when I look in here, these are 150 a piece. So I could buy a stack for 9,600. And we can do that a couple of times. And that's actually a pretty good offer. We could buy like the maximum number that we can afford. Um, no, we'll, we'll just buy them by the stack then. Okay, so I bought all that I can, and that's three stacks of stone, which is fine. It's not a lot, but we don't need like an absolute ton. But we are going to go ahead and start smelting this. So we'll go ahead and just put a few blocks of coal in each one of these. Yeah, maybe in hindsight, I shouldn't have spent my money on that, because I just realized this is this many stacks, and it doesn't take that long to get a bunch of cobblestone. So maybe it was a little bit of a mistake, but it's okay. We're here to learn, we're here to improve, and we're here to grow. Okay, we're, we're not here to be perfect, because we're not perfect. Oh, and by the way, whenever your tools start to get low, all you have to do is slash warp repair like this. And it will put you like right next to the spawn point. And all you have to do is just click on this sign and you can repair your tools. Just because on, sky on this kind of skyblock, it's not really important because like you're spending a bunch of money on this. You don't want to have to recreate it every time. But yeah, our spawn is beautiful, man. I, I love it. I highly encourage you to come on here and check it out. But then when you want to go back, just slash is go. Okay, so I've been grinding here for quite a while. And uh, we got 8k sky coins, probably a lot of cobblestone. Yeah, we got a lot of cobblestone. So, looks like our ore hopper can't keep up sometimes because we have such a high level of fortune now, which is why you can get more than one ore hopper and put it in the same spot. But the big thing I was looking for anyways was cobblestone. So let's go ahead and just take all the cobblestone out of there and get it smelting. Because I'm pretty sure these are probably close to being done by now. Yeah, it's somewhat close. So just a couple of blocks, put them in. Okay, so I moved my lucky block in preparation, and I also realized that I'm gonna have to move this, like, uh, I'm gonna have to move this again, because I need to start kind of messing around with exactly where I want this factory to be, because uh, it does need to be fairly large. Um, unfortunately, actually, fortunately, I think I can leave a little bit of it. Yeah, I think I can, because I'm gonna try to have a three block gap around this thing. So there's gonna be a fairly big factory, and keep in mind, it won't always be, oh, I see. So let me set my island home over here. So do slash is set home. It was just telling me that way you don't block yourself in and you spawn it inside of blocks and like die. So to prevent that, that's why we're doing it like that. So I wanted three block gap or two block gap. I think two is okay. We're gonna have to take away some of the sugar cane, which is okay. It's not gonna be a lot of it, but a little bit of it has to be taken away. I don't have a water bucket either. Come here, buddy. Goodbye, dirt. I, I love you so much. I'm gonna miss you, but if I'm honest, I'm excited to have a factory that's making stuff. Now, he's not gonna like make anything, but it is gonna be nice. Um, if we do slash missions, I'm curious. Have we done two of them now? 
We've completed one. We should be getting close to some. Oh, craft a fishing rod, catch 25 fish. Purchase protection. Okay, so we have the fortune three, but we need sharpness and protection one on four items. So my guess is we could just make a full set of diamond armor fairly easily. Also, we should probably sell whatever's in here just to get the money. Um, yep, that was $46,000. And we just did another merchant quest. It said you've completed merchant. So we just got $12,000 because we sold so much money. And that was a personal merchant mis mission. So let's not accidentally click on this. Grab our crafting table back. And we'll just make a full set of diamond armor and put protection one on it. And that should give us another completed quest. I think. I think that's what it's asking me to do. Oh, gearing up basic. We just got $10,000. Cool. And it looks like two basic <laughs> enchant books. Uh, we got radiate one and report one. Both of these are absolutely terrible. I'm just going to throw them off the edge. I don't personally like them. Some of you may like those enchants, but I don't. So we'll just do slash enchant on both of these and buy protection one like that. Okay, and then the last one here. There we go. Okay, and then what mission? Um, let's see. What's the last one to do? Or was that mission? Okay, put sharpness on one item. So we're finally going to enchant our sword. We could kill some mobs. Maybe want to build like a little mob area, but there we go. Now we got $7,500. And that means that we are close to getting... No, actually, we've completed two. We've completed four missions, actually. Um, which means that we can now um, do slash servant. And we'll have our very own servant. So I'll just put my servant like over here. And I'll set him to just basically mine blocks. They're kind of expensive to upgrade at the very beginning. Um, but make sure that you do those missions and you put your servant down. Set them to mine. Especially when you're first starting out, it's best to do that. And then you can see you can upgrade them right here so we could give them more efficiency, but that's 40 grand. And then for mining, you'd want to upgrade this and it cost XP. So pretty cool. You can also probably afford one basic book. Uh, there's also something called the XP shop now. So you can spend your XP to buy like keys or souls or crop hoppers, mob hoppers, drop hoppers, tons of stuff. Okay, so back to the factory. Let me build a little bit of an outline here. Probably want to put on our armor. <laughs> that's definitely a good idea. So we'll go ahead and get two blocks out from the edge. So something like this. And yeah, let me build a little outline. Okay, so the kind of the the kind of cobblestone generator I want to replace this one in here with is going to be a little bigger than I imagined. So I'm going to remove, I'm going to put on my super breaker. See what I mean? When you're building, it can be like super helpful. And then I'm going to end up making this thing a little bit bigger actually controversial I know but we are gonna make it probably to be like right here on the width maybe even a little bit bigger it's gonna be quite a big build but it's gonna be worth it that means we got to fill in these with probably cobblestone slabs on the inside of this I'm okay with it being cobblestone we're gonna build it out of just glass but I need to see how much does glass cost so it's in colored blocks for some reason I guess because the other colors of glass are in here so it's only 150 a piece actually so we can afford that for sure Maybe we could do like glass paths in here or something. That'd be kind of nice. And then I'm going to go ahead and make it wider as well. So we're going to actually probably want to take some cobblestone out, which I don't really want to do. But if I'm correct on this, I don't think we really have. Yeah, we don't have any slabs at all. Luckily, they're fairly easy to make, so it's not a big problem. Yeah, this will be fine. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and expand and make this thing a little bit bigger. Okay, so I've made this area a lot bigger. I didn't end up making it very much longer because you want these farms to be inside the same chunk. And this uh, factory is pretty much all in one chunk. I'm not gonna like make sure it is, but uh, or I'm gonna make sure it's inside the chunk, but not the exact size of the chunk. So all of it is, except the very end, which to be fair, the cobblestone mine won't be that long. Okay, so I was you know, messing around looking in the shop and there's some pretty cool stuff. Oh, there's some pretty cool stuff. Don't wanna go to the rotating shop, but look, it's still sugarcane. So we gotta make sure we're mining that as much as we can. Which I have been, by the way. Um, I just I just don't want to sell it yet. The reason I haven't been selling any of my crops is ideally I want to make giant farms. So I'm trying to make sure I have enough stuff for that. Because if we sold it, we don't really have that much sugar cane. We don't really have that many potatoes or even that many carrots. Um, so it's just it's it's unfortunate that we're keeping it, but at the same time, 
it's going to help us in the long run. I'm looking for the long-term investment here, man. The long-term investment. But anyways, in the shop, there's iron bars. So I can buy a stack of those for 8K. I'll buy two stacks, so I'll spend 16K. Because I feel like a factory has got to have windows that are, I don't know, nice and like crazy looking that are made, you know, all industrial. I don't think like your typical factory is just going to have regular windows. So I'm going to try to like space this out on the wall. Maybe with like a two block space or something. Nah, we're, we're, I'll figure out the spacing one second. Okay, so something like that. Now the back will be actually like, I don't know, it'll be the same, but I had to build a doorway. So that's why that's like that. So I'll go ahead and copy this pattern to the other side and then we'll figure out these smaller sides. And I actually know we'll figure out the bigger sides in a second, but yeah, that's what I'm doing now. So this here, and then it's the middle three with a two block space and then these right here. Cool. And then I'm just going to build up the wall a bunch and probably to the same height. And then we can do another set of windows, but I don't really know how tall this building is going to be, but it'll be a nice looking factory, which is going to be cool that we can produce all of our materials in. Okay. So I have both of those walls built. Now I'm trying to make this a factory. I'm going to make a really unique cobblestone generator. I'm not going to use Mr. Data's like I talked about earlier, but that was a really good one too. I'm going to build my own redstone version. That's really cool. Um, and pistons can push up to 12 blocks, but if you put obsidian at the top, that'll stop them from being pushed. At least that's my understanding. So it'll be kind of a sloped roof, I think. Um, although to be fair, I think we want to increase it by one like that. So we'll go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. So increase this up, boom and boom. And then I'm going to go to the other side and copy that as well. But yeah, that's what I'm doing right now, just because I want to make sure that this thing looks like super factory-ish. I'll even build like a couple of smokestacks out the top. We're really going to sell it. We're really going to make it look like a true factory. And then go in one block and then over. So this will be as tall as it is, because you can't really reach up any taller than this anyway. So it would be kind of pointless to make it bigger. And then I kind of want the whole... Like, I feel like I want the frame of it to be made of, of like... What is this called? Stone bricks? How can I, how do I keep forgetting the basic Minecraft blocks? I don't know. Sometimes my brain just, just fizzles out. So everything that's like on an edge will be made out of stone bricks. So when I come back, it'll look like that. Now, if I had them, I'd use iron blocks for the roof to make it look even more industrious, but I don't think I can really swing using iron blocks at this point. Like, let's go in here and let's see what we have. Um, no, I mean, we definitely can't use iron blocks. So I'm going to look around in the shop and try to find something. I don't, I feel like wood would look okay, but if I, if I can't find anything else, I'm okay using wood, but let me just like look through the shop and figure something out. Yeah. So I think I'm just going to use either white concrete or some sort of like dark gray concrete. I think we'll use gray concrete and I can buy you know, a fairly good bit of this. Um, so we bought two stacks and then we can buy more as we need it. Um, but this is going to be the roof overlay. So what I mean is I'm just going to go off the edge here and the roof is going to be made of these materials, if that makes sense. So I'll go up like this and then we'll make sure to hang it one block over. So I'll come back when I've made enough money to get all this. It's just going to be a little bit of a grind. I'll just sell stuff at the cobblestone generator. I don't think I'll be selling any crops, but like, I mean, let, let's see if it's even worth it, right? Because we don't have a very big sugarcane farm yet. This is just helping us get that mastery. So if I look on my mastery for sugarcane, um, let me make my GUI like one size smaller. So if I look at my sugarcane, you can see that we're, we're not, we're not really close, but eventually once we get to tier one, you can make these little minions. And what those minions do is they basically just create or they simulate you mining a piece of sugarcane so you can afk your mastery which is really nice because eventually you get triple sell price of sugarcane and triple the amount of sky coins which that's what you really want to grind for but yeah this is going to look like a nice factory when we're done so i'll come back when the roof's done okay guys i think the roof is complete let's go dude okay so i can hop down on my it just i don't know why i went so crazy on the furnaces um oh super breaker doesn't work on these well it'll Super breaker will start to work if you break a block that usually it starts it But if you were to like break it with some things it wouldn't work. So let's go ahead and make sure we get all the stuff from this Um, okay, so it does look somewhat like a factory you guys may be like neo if you think that looks like a factory I'm never talking to you again because you're dumb. Well, you know what I say to you I say it makes me happy. So I'm gonna keep it. Um, we're also going to turn this into slabs 
like it was meant to be. Can't even get in, in here. It's dark in here. You got this scary, man. Uh, get bad vibes being in here in the dark. So we're going to light it up a little bit. If you're on your island or anywhere on the server, you can just do slash NV. So I might as well just do that. I think most people play with night vision on. But, you know, maybe you're the kind of person who doesn't like that and you like to light stuff up. And that's perfectly okay. That's the cool thing about the server. You play how you want to play, man. You do whatever you want. Okay, so I don't know if 10 buckets is necessarily enough to pick all this up, but this cobble gin is going to be no more. Um, yeah, that's right. We have to actually use what? Oh my gosh. Let me, let me figure this out. It's like, <laughs> how many water buckets can one man own? Neo has 18. I have 20 water buckets just here, man. 20 whole water buckets now you can technically like put them into the same spot like this and then you could take them out like that i guess then we have two more water buckets and we need more okay. okay big dumb i have made the solution we're all good now okay so now the last oh, sucks man because this is this is how we started off man with this cobblestone grinder and now it's gone it's okay. We're about to build one that's so much better. It's going to knock your socks off. Now, I want to tell you something. Feet drops do not and have not ever worked correctly with um, um, with hoppers. So make sure when you're near it, you don't let it go off the edge like I almost did right there. We'll rebuild this collection system because there's a much better way to build them. But, you know, for the beginning, this was fine. I don't think there's a lot of stuff in here, is there? Yeah, no, because we had just sold it. Um, we just, I didn't have to grind that long to get enough money for the gray concrete. It's not a super expensive material, luckily. And now I could just kind of break that. Technically, I can fall and I won't lose my stuff, but I don't want to, like, abuse that fact. Maybe we can break this and then <gasps> fall into the water. Yeah. Oh, I saved it. Nice. Okay, let's try this again. I think it's just this one. No, there's one more under me. Okay, I can fall right into here and then climb back up. Okay, and then the last step is just taking away our old cobblestone generator. Now, this new style is pretty cool. It uses redstone, and it's actually pretty fun. Um, I'll change the walls up here a little bit, too. There's a few spots I still want to add some of the iron bars, but I've been having a blast making a Let's Play on Skyblock. I'd only streamed the server on Skyblock before, but I'm super happy about the Let's Play, and I hope you guys are, too. So let me know if you want to see more of it down in the comments below, because your feedback is invaluable. Without your feedback, I wouldn't know what to do. Pretty much. Okay, let me fill this in real quick. Okay, sweet. So these walls are filled in. I made some campfires for the smokestacks we're about to build. Probably want to build them out of stone bricks. I think that's a good idea. I don't know. I'm kind of having fun with it, man. I'm not doing, you know, the most effective things or anything like that. I'm just having fun with it, which is what I wanted to do with this series. Some people go crazy. You know, they don't focus on looks at all. I'm like, that's fine. Like, I mean, if that's your thing, go for it. Like, I'm not going to hate... Whatever makes you happy, I always say that, and it's truthful. Whatever makes you happy, you do it, okay? Unless it's illegal, and then don't do it, okay? Don't don't, don't try to get me in trouble, man. What, what are you thinking? Now, hopefully a chest doesn't connect to iron bars. No, it doesn't. Thank goodness. Okay. So, now we have little windows there, and we can't put them up here, because you got to remember the roof is right there. But let's look, at, let's look at it from the outside. We can probably make it a little bit... <laughs> we can probably make it a lot better. <laughs> it looks a little... Uh, it just looks a little, um... Oh, actually, you know what we can do that would make this super easy? This is the thing with roofs. I hate roofs. Some people are great at them. I've never been a big, like, roof building person. I just don't like them. Probably because I suck at building roofs, something like that. Um, but something like that could just help a lot. Because it looks weird when they're, like, diagonally connecting. I don't know why this helps so much. But a little tip with the roof. See? It already looks miles better. It looks like an industrial barn. You know what? No, it's going to be our industrial barn cobblestone factory, okay? We'll, we'll just call it the industrial barn for now. It's a small factory, you know, a small family-owned factory we opened in 1916 um, on uh, Skyblockia, which is the country that we're from. It's like Slovakia, but Skyblockia, okay? And uh, since this is a high-security facility, it's... No. Since it is a high-security facility, we're definitely going to need some iron doors. Go ahead and craft those. Go ahead and craft an upside-down stair as well. Whenever you're building a door, it's going to look a whole lot better. Don't ask me why. It just works. I was taught this by a guy that I met like seven years ago on Minecraft. And like, I just, it's stuck with me ever since. Make two buttons. Easy entry and exit. 
on the right side and on the right side. So, oh. <laughs> maybe we should make a pressure plate because I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that. Um, and then you could even maybe make some iron trap. Oh, maybe make some. Wait, why did I buy these when I could just make them that easily? Wait, then how do you make an iron trap door? Is it like this? That's right. It's the only trap door that you make that way. And unfortunately, we don't have any more iron, so we can't do any more stuff. But I was going to say the outside. Oh, I keep trying to open it like a normal door. The outside of this, we still need to texture a little bit. Like it doesn't look bad necessarily, but it definitely needs a little bit of needs a little bit of love that's for sure so we'll work on that in a bit first we got to be able to make more money so this is the base of our factory we need a smokestack because it's a factory you have to have a smokestack i don't know what you guys are thinking if you don't have a smokestack it's whack let me make some stairs and slabs okay we got stairs we got slabs and everything in between not really there's only stairs and slabs uh we got to find the center of this so easy way to find the center is to go on top of something and just start building diagonal, dude. I mean, honestly, there's there's a few ways to find the center, but building to the diagonal is probably going to be your best bet, unless you're like a really good visual kind of person. Cool. So now we have the center. Just find the center between these. And I want two smokestacks. Well, it's not going to work. I was going to say I wanted two smokestacks that were two by two each, but it looks like they're going to be little three by three ones, which is fine. So where's the center of this? Be like right here. So if we wanted, it's wider. You probably want two smokestacks that go on back, right? So I say we just build a smokestack like right here and then right here. I think that's pretty good spacing. Then we can just remove the little marker blocks. So I'll build these up, you know, an indescript amount, not a whole lot, but I want to make it look like a proper smokestack too. Uh, except the outside isn't textured a whole lot, so it looks weird if I started using walls and made it look proper, but we'll go ahead and just build this up a little bit. I'll make a smokestack and I'll come right back. Should they be the same height? And maybe. I don't even think we'll be able to really see them for the ground, so it doesn't really matter. Also, they don't need to be tall, so I don't even have to stop the recording. Not a problem at all. Something like this should be good. And then we can round them out with a little bit of slayers. <laughs> with a little bit of stairs and slabs. Something like this. So make sure you're putting them on the top half so that it's upside down. And I think, yeah, we should probably put the corner ones down as well. Something like this. I don't know. It should look like a smokestack. I'll look at it from the ground before I build. No, nope, we're going to build two of them and then we're going to check it out. We're going to do the opposite of what you should do because it's, it's fun sometimes, right? Put the campfire here and then you can put a grate over it if you wanted to just to make it look... I don't know. I say realistic, but you know, real realism in Minecraft is kind of like a an oxymoron because we're building a factory out of stone blocks. I don't know. As the first Skyblockia factory came to fruition, the Miner Man Neo. <laughs> Something like this. Okay, so let's look at it from the ground. Yeah, it looks like a smokestack to me. Now that's what I was saying. It's from the ground. You can't really see them <laughs> unless you know our island will be big at some point, but. Maybe if we go over here in like the very, very corner and we and we build up. So look at the server. We set him to mine. He already has 12 diamonds. So he just, he just makes a little bit of stuff for you. It's nothing crazy uh, at level one. But once you get it up a little bit, it's a lot better. Yeah, it looks like some, looks like some smokestacks to me. Let's go, dude. Cool. I am happy with how those turned out. Couldn't have been better. Maybe they could be better, but like I don't know how to build them better. So don't judge. I did realize here that we can put a window there and there. And that's the thing, like whenever you're building windows, as long as there's like a one block gap around them, they're gonna look good, right? So you could even make this window one block higher and it would still look fine. Which on the other side, I'm not even sure if I did, but if I didn't, yeah, we'll go ahead and do that here too. Okay, so for this, we're gonna need redstone. I don't think redstone's too expensive. I don't know if I have any. Uh, maybe my servant has a little bit. We have 52 redstone here. We have all the smooth stone smelted, which we need for repeaters and such. Now, you can't do crazy redstone contraptions on the server. Just, oh, that's 96. Nice. Uh, you can't do crazy redstone contraptions on the server just because that would cause immense server lag. So there is a few plugins preventing crazy stuff. But for the most part, right, like, you can still build some pretty cool stuff. So let me... I think I have to make another furnace. I'm not going to craft any more furnaces ever. Don't you worry about that. Let me smelt up a stack of this. You know what? Sometimes I just looked at the recipe. You don't even need that, dude. Like, sometimes I just don't know what I'm doing, man. 
Because a redstone repeater is literally made with just normal stone like that. Wait, what? Let me look at this picture again. Oh, oh, wait, what? Do we need to see redstone right here? Oh. <laughs> I don't know if 10 is enough. Probably not. I probably want to make a few more. Yeah, I might have goofed up a little bit. Because now we have 44 redstone repeaters. But we literally don't. <laughs> But we don't have any more redstone, which we definitely need that. So we're gonna have to build a little impromptu cobble gem, which is fine. We're, we're just gonna build the old school style. So if we wanna build that one block up, it's pretty simple to do. Just something like this, just build a two layer. I think it can be really short and squat. So the water will fall into here. And then there's lava right there. I believe, nope, it has to be one block back. Almost made obsidian. But like I said, if you ever make obsidian, just right click on it and it'll turn back into a lava bucket. Cause honestly, it's just annoying whenever that happens. It's not like game breaking. You just have to make your island over again. And we didn't want that to happen. So I'll just sit here and mine for a little bit till I get redstone. A little mining report. Old Neo's been mining for like 10 minutes. No, not really. Maybe it's been like three minutes. It feels like 10 minutes because it's slow. I put my ore hopper down just to help me out and we have nine redstone. <laughs> oh yeah, and as I'm putting up stuff in my inventory because I realized my inventory is an absolute mess, um, I did realize something. Um, I'm gonna build this thing out of glass just because I think glass looks really cool. And uh, I don't know, it's just kind of a fun thing to do. But one thing I did realize is that we have six of these basic enchant books. And I don't know where we got them. It's probably some mission, but... <laughs> Hear the villager noises. We have medicate too. Take less environmental damage. I think that's like fire. Gain invisibility when hit by TNT. Leaves are broken instantly. Nice. That's level one on lumberjack. So we might as well put that on there. It's a success of 81%. It has a 19% of just not going onto your tool, and then a 5% chance of just destroying your tool outright. So, if you want to change those chances, go to enchant item shop and then you can buy protection scrolls and bright schools protection just protects your tool from being destroyed so if it does have that destroy a chance happen it's a low percentage but it can this will protect it and this increases the chance of it happening so they're kind of expensive but they're really really helpful now if you're on bedrock now normally how you do this is so let's just find the lumberjack book you just click on it like that <laughs> And it's successfully applied. Nice, dude. So this means we can break leaves instantly, which is super cool. Um, but what I was trying to say is if you're on bedrock and you can't drag stuff, just do slash enchant bedrock like this. And then you put your tool in here and you put that in there. And that will let you do the enchants if you're on bedrock. Okay, we should have enough redstone. We have 20. If we end up needing more, that's okay. But I'll go ahead and remove this thing. Now we do actually, like we do need more obsidian. Um, or we need obsidian like in general because otherwise like <laughs> I broke the block to try to make it into obsidian uh, But we do need obsidian. So I'm just going to get a bunch of that I will have to buy like five lava or four more lava buckets. So they're pretty cheap. So one two three four um, Because I'm, I'm gonna make it ha make a five wide thing that like I don't know you'll see how it works I built it during season one. It's a really cool generator Okay, then the last thing we need to build this is some glass so Let's go ahead and buy a couple of stacks of glass. Probably like three. We can't buy three, so I'll buy as much as I can. Okay, so that's a pretty good amount. Now, in between this episode and next, not that this episode is close to being over, but I'm just prefacing this. I'm going to do a lot of grinding on this cobblestone gen I'm about to break um, or about to build because otherwise we can't do a whole lot each episode because it does take a while to get money. Um, so, yeah, we're definitely going to be focusing on getting more money before we start next episode. Um, so I'm gonna have the cobblestone line like come up right here So that's why I have this obsidian is you know pistons will push up to 12 blocks So it's a smart idea for me to put obsidian up here because pistons cannot push obsidian I believe and if they can then I'll use another material that they can't push something like that So now those are all lined up on the ceiling, which is perfect And then we're gonna go ahead and basically just break this thing out And go below here, so I don't remember exactly how many blocks, but I'm gonna leave a little border around here just so that we can kind of see it yeah cool I'll come back when I have more to show okay so I'm just filling in the glass now so we're gonna have to go below here and we're also gonna have to like go outside of the factory a little bit uh, because this relies on just like a water flow mechanic where water will only flow so far um so we'll go below here in a moment I'm gonna have to grab oh I already got a bucket of water look at me man preparing for the future here and then we're just going to go down here a little bit, like this. Go down about two layers or so. I'm just going to have to build a launcher, aren't I? Something like this. 
um, because the water is going to be flowing on this level right here. So it's going to be a little tricky to build just because we're building without any air gap, but it's okay. It'll make sense in a bit. Now, ideally, I want to build this stuff out of glass, too. I'm going to try to use glass for, like, literally everything. But um, the water has to be able to flow seven blocks and then just touch this point right here. So let me line this up. Okay, so I have some of it done. Like, all I'm trying to do is basically make the water flow eight blocks and the eighth block be where this little gap is right here. So this should be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then on the eighth block, it is that gap, which is perfect. That's exactly what we need to happen here. And now I just have to build the floor out, which, <laughs> like I said, is kind of tricky. Um, I guess I could get in a position where I'm swimming into here. This might actually work great. Yeah. Oh, nice. I've, like, never built, like, while swimming, but this does indeed work. And then we go over to here, fill all this in. And we don't quite have enough glass, do we? Now, ideally, if I built this correctly, the water should flow until this gap right here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and fill this in a little bit and put water here so I can swim back. And we have a little bit of glass, so that should be our safe spot right there. It might be tricky because we're swimming, so let's find out how this works. Oh, gosh. Okay. Yep, it does work. It does stop on the gap, which is perfect. And now lava touches this, and it'll make a row of materials right here. Um... <laughs> <laughs> this is so funny. Okay, I would have to go back up because I don't have enough glass. I also don't have any money. So I'm going to have to do what I said I didn't want to do. And I'm probably going to have to sell some crops. Oh, and we have our lucky block, I bet. Ooh. Don't forget about the lucky block. And you can always use a daily spinner. But like I said, I believe... I'm, I don't think I can use mine again. It'd be kind of weird if I could. Um, oh, I can. Oh, because it passed 12 a.m. Nice. Hey, 100 use. 100 use cell wand. Dude, not bad. Hey, and we can break this thing. Oh, no, not another line of pigs. 2,500. Oh, no, not a blaze. No. Get out. Bad blaze. Anything else? Blindness. Oh, we got soul collector mission. Oh, so if we go to our missions now, in our island missions, that means we should have... Soul Collector, which is a 1.1 times island XP booster. Cool. And that lasts for 30 minutes. And you just click on it in your hand. Cool. Okay, come on, pigs. Get out of here. No one wanted you anyways. Goodbye. Goodbye, pigs. Okay. So, how much would this sell for a stack since we have that triple multiplier? A thousand bucks? Hey, yo, we should be selling this stuff, dude. <laughs> Oh, yeah, and the, the Lucky Block also gave us a bunch of blocks of stuff, which is cool. Now, some of the vote websites reset at 12 a.m., so I, maybe I can vote on a few websites. I'm not exactly sure. Um, you can sell one chest for $11. You know what? Sure. So I think each stack of glass is only like... Mm, how much is it? 9K? Okay, cool. This should be enough to finish it now, then. Good. Thought we'd have to do something crazy to get the money. Um, we're gonna have to swim again. This is one of the trickier, like, kind of builds I've done. We need four buckets of lava, and I don't want to do that while swimming. So let's go ahead and just buy four buckets, or five buckets. One, two, three, four, five. Cool. And then I'm gonna put them in my hot bar off the bat as well. What is going on with my inventory? There we go. Sometimes my brain just like on Minecraft is like, bruh, I'm done. Go, go somewhere else. I think I have to put the water one block up. Look at this, dude. I'm like not even saying anything. My brain's like so focused on trying to swim down in here. Okay, and now we can grab the glass. And like I said, the lava needs to flow. Okay, I gotta grab this water. Or just stop it. Okay, so the water flows to here. The lava needs to flow. I think it flows five blocks or so. And I believe this will actually be even if we were to get it over to here. And it looks like it'll let you peek off the edge just a little bit. So I think this is one, two, three, four. Actually, no, it doesn't matter if the lava is like completely four or not. This is fine. This will work. That's a little tricky. Oh, it lets me hang off the edge. That's so nice. Cool. Okay, so now we just put the lava right here. And if this works correctly, 
then it should make a line of blocks. Oh. <laughs> uh, you know what? We're going to have to sacrifice the glass. It's okay. It's all good. Oh, it's making the line of blocks in the wrong spot. No. I've been deceived. I haven't built this in a while. Okay, so give me some grace here. It's going to be a little bit back, but that's honestly perfectly fine. It does not matter. It's not a big deal. Cool. Well, now we can at least see how it works, right? From up here, you can see all the glass and everything. I do want to make these full blocks. So let me go ahead and do that real quick. I just realized we need pistons and you know what we don't have? I don't think we have any iron and I think we just sold a bunch of iron too. Yeah, we don't have any iron. Well, I mean, to be fair, we can use this as a cobble gen. Like it'll work just fine. The reason I was blocking this off is because we need to put pistons under here. But like for right now, we can just turn this into a little impromptu temporary um, temporary cobblestone miner and it, and, it, and it works. So we'll just do this. Cool. Actually, you know what? This isn't a bad solution. A little super breaker action. Oh yeah. So it costs 25,000 to upgrade this. And I think the next upgrade includes iron blocks. So I'm going to do IS deposit sky coins and then deposit all 20,000. And I think we already had some in our bank. Yeah, we got 31,000 in there. So let's go to IS upgrade and bada bing, bada boom. And let me check to see so I'm not 100% sure, but I think iron blocks. Oh, wow. That is a big gooey. We're going to make it even larger. There we go. Uh, yeah, now iron blocks are... No, the next upgrade iron blocks are 1%. Oof. Okay, well, at least maybe iron ore got increased, which is really all that I care about. And we have endstone now, too, which is awesome. Okay, so I got 10 iron, which is perfect. And I can go ahead and just sell the rest of this stuff because we shouldn't need it. I'm going to make sure and not sell the lapis. Okay, I'm going to be... Or sell the red, so I'm very careful. I only sold the one, okay? We're, we're all good. We're all good. So now we just got to wait for the iron to smelt. For some reason, I can always remember the piston recipe because it literally just looks like a piston. You know, the wood little pusher on top, the rod. And then, I don't know. It just looks like a piston to me. And then the other recipe is like the repeater. The repeater, I guess, is kind of like that too. But I don't know. I feel like it's just a classic. Okay. So I'm going to break these blocks right here because this is where the pistons have to go. These are going to push these blocks up. So maybe you can kind of envision what this thing is now, but it's actually a super duper cool design that not many people use. And I guess just because they don't, I don't know. I've always liked it. So I'm just going to build it. Is it the best or the most efficient? No. But is anything I build the best or the most efficient? No, definitely not. So to power the pistons, you need to put a solid block under each of them like this. And then with a solid block underneath them, I'm going to try to build this where it's not like, you know, any extra blocks. You're going to have to put a repeater into each one of these and that will power the piston. You put a little clock here and bada bing, bada boom is done pretty much. And then you're going to need to put another layer here. So we're going to go and break that out and then just put some redstone down. And just build a repeater over here. Now, the thing about the repeater is that sometimes it may turn off again because of that redstone plugin. So a good thing to do is look at your chunk borders and build your repeater outside of the chunk border. I know it seems weird, but sometimes this can really help you. You're going to want to also make a staircase because whenever you log off your island, sometimes the repeaters will stop. And yeah, I know it's annoying. Okay, but there's nothing we can do about it. Um, otherwise, we couldn't host this amazing server like we do. Uh, without these little tweaks, but they're e very easy to work around. Very easy to work around. Um, but yeah, you want to make a little access ladder or something so that you can get down to the clock because you may have to reset it periodically. Not like super common or anything, but sometimes you're going to have to reset it. Um, we didn't build it outside. Hold on. There we go. Basically, it just allows so many redstone ticks or redstone actions per chunk, essentially. It's the simplest way to explain it. Okay, so a repeater clock like this. I'm going to go ahead and put two ticks on each of them. It's either two ticks or three ticks because they're already one tick. I don't remember. Don't don't kill me. I'm so bad with redstone. And then you basically just connect it over here. And then if you want a way to like, like I mean a quick way to have like a, an activator or something, you can just make like a button and just, you literally just click the button and it turns on the clock. There we go. And then it will push up the blocks every so often. And you can see this repeater is not too fast or anything like that. We may be able to increase it by doing something like that. And I'll just watch it and make sure I can get it as fast as I can. Okay. So now the only thing left to do is to remove said lava. 
and you have to give it enough time to like flow into the block and then generate you know like the ore or whatever so there's a, there's a way to time it right you want to make sure it generates a whole row ideally so it generates it and then pushes it up immediately after so we can go ahead and increase the speed a little bit here but i think you see what i mean isn't this really cool like i don't know man i just i always thought these were like the coolest designs i wish more people would build them maybe it's because they're not like totally meta or whatever which is fine but let's see if this is any better boom nah it's still too slow we'll go ahead and take some more out maybe like this maybe too fast okay no it can't push them anymore <laughs> okay yeah, they hit they hit the top of the roof here we're gonna have to delete a couple of rows but yeah you can basically just play around with it a bunch but you just want it to be like efficient so it generates it and then immediately brings it up that way when you're mining it's like full speed I think this is probably a good speed. I'm gonna go ahead and keep it like this. If it ends up needing to be faster, we can make it faster, but I'm happy with how that turned out. And like I said, you want a little way to get back down here just because sometimes things can mess up. And if it does, you know, it's not like a huge deal or anything, but you definitely want a way to get up and down. So hopefully this is within our factory right here. Is this the wall? No. Where's the edge of the wall? Okay, so the edge of the wall is like right there. So we want to build like a little ladder that goes down right here. Think of it as like a uh, a service elevator. <laughs> I do not know, okay? But think of it like something. Okay, so we got a little service elevator here. We just need some ladders. I'm going to go up here to craft those because I don't have any at the moment. And then we should just need one trap door. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. That's not right. <laughs> we got to fill that in or we're going to end up falling to our death. No, not really, since I guess you don't technically die when you fall, but... Oh! I'm here to test that. Hey guys, what is up? The NeoCubist here. My name is Neo Mythbuster 2.0. Did anyone watch Mythbusters growing up? Oh, I see what happened. That's not good. The water, like, connected? Oof, yeah, I'm just gonna have to, like, do this and just stop that, because that's really annoying. Okay, cool. That'll go away on its own slowly. Okay, so something like this. And if the clock ever stops to go down here, click the button. Super simple, super easy. And you can't really see it from down here anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Cool. Well, I'm happy with this thing. If I had... Oh, I have Super Breaker. Let's go! Look at this, dude. Isn't that crazy? Oh, yeah, and it isn't even getting to the piston. Wait, did we push up the ceiling? Oh, no, did we push up the ceiling? I just realized the obsidian isn't lined up because the... <laughs> no, did we push it up? No! <laughs> That's not good. Okay, we need to stop it for a second. Or at least replace the obsidian up top. It shouldn't be too hard, so let me go ahead and move the obsidian a little bit. This is like one of those challenges, because whenever I break the stuff, if I'm not quick enough to put it down, it keeps like sliding back up. So I'm trying... Okay. <laughs> Okay, well now we can go on the roof and fix it. I was, I was gonna think, because if I fix it, you know, from like down here, or if I had fixed it from up there, then it would have just pushed it right back up. And that would have been kind of comedic, but at the same time, a big time waster. So let's go up here, break this real quick. Okay, and then we should have exactly five gray concrete. We don't need one trap door. And there we go, now we have a fully self-contained uh, okay, there's no fall damage on your island. Good, because I would have killed myself there for sure. Falling to my death. Look at this thing, man. And you could technically surround it with obsidian if you wanted to, or like make it look really fancy and put like redstone blocks around it. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to think of something because I want to make it look cool. Maybe we could do redstone for now, but I'm just happy to have it, if I'm completely honest, because it feels so much cooler. So the last but well, not least thing is we're going to do F3G. And we're gonna make sure we're all within one chunk and we are here, so let's go ahead and put our trunk hopper down. We really need to build a house next episode. We have no storage room, dude, it's so annoying. I don't have anywhere to put anything. We do have a chunk hopper, which is good. I don't believe we have any extra, we have five extra chests. We're gonna need an absolute ton of chests, so we're gonna go ahead and do, um, I don't know if we'll need that many. We'll go ahead and start with like 26 chests. We're gonna need a ton of hoppers. And I don't believe we really have that much iron, so I'm going to mine until I have enough uh, hoppers. See you in a bit. Oh, yeah, and we might reach our hopper limit. 
But to upgrade the first one, there's a thousand sky coins, and you get a limit of 50 hoppers instead of five. So it's one of the best upgrades, but it's best valued upgrades for sure. A fun thing to do, like if you're gonna have your friends visit your island, is break the blocks that are not ores, like only break the blocks that are not ores. And then eventually you'll end up with a completely solid, we even break the top, uh, we have to jump to break the top. And then you'll end up with a completely solid thing of just ores and it's like super satisfying to mine. So you can see like right here, we're getting close to having just ores. There we go, there's some iron coming up. Looks like a piece of instone and then a diamond, look at that. Look. Nice, dude. You see what I mean? Isn't that crazy? Now the whole thing is ores. And it's a nice screenshot. Wink, wink. And then the most satisfying thing. All the ores, man. All the ores. We should have enough, hopefully, soon. Yeah, we'll have enough for all the hoppers we need. Um, so yeah, we just don't have any storage space. Maybe if I put down two of the chests. I just need 26. So maybe I shouldn't talk and I should just put down two. I think I can spare two, right? I think that'll be okay. Let's go ahead and put up literally everything. We don't need any of this stuff anymore except the chests and the ore hoppers and maybe our tools. I just realized I can ride this thing up like an elevator. I was saying I have to jump to break the top one. No, all I have to do is stand here and just let it push me up here. Now, will it crunch me at the top? Okay, it just threw me off. Well, I guess that's better than being smushed. Okay, so let's go ahead and make these hoppers here. That should be enough. I don't plan on making this like a giant sorter or anything uh, but a cool thing about like these ore hoppers right let's go ahead and put one on the ground if you shift if you're like holding down crouch and you click on it you can filter it so these are all the things it will pick up right it'll pick up all of these things so the cool part is if you have a bunch of these ore hoppers like an absolute ton which you can get from the soul shop or you can craft them too they are craftable if you look in mastery and you go to crafting recipes view recipes and then all recipes or you can just click on like um, or they're right here so you need enchanted iron a diamond and a hopper now enchanted iron is something you're gonna get by getting your iron mastery up um, so if we look and just like the normal masteries menu and we go to iron you can see that you get enchanted iron recipe where uh, tier two okay so once we get to that that's gonna be super helpful we can craft a bunch of these make a super cool ore sorter but for now we're just gonna have them all go into one chest which is fine we're just selling it for money Oh, dude, I literally, I was on the auction house because I was like, man, I really wish I could have two ore hoppers here. Oh, wait, this is three wide. Okay, I was say, I wish I had three. I look in here and there's an ore hopper for sale for $1. Like, I don't know if he meant to do that, um, but now we have two ore hoppers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> is there any other ore hoppers on here? Usually they're pretty high priced. Um, mob hoppers or crop hoppers are usually the highest price because people use those for cactus farms. Um, people don't really sell ore hoppers because... After a while, they just don't use them. What if I just search ore? Oh my gosh, look how many there are. Oh, they're all like 500k, dude. I can't afford this. I'm poor. I don't have any money. Um, and I'm not going to abuse the fact that people know who I am. I'm not going to be like, please list, and please list one in an auction house. Because yeah, they're just too expensive for me. So we'll have to go with two for now, which is fine. We can put them like... Uh, honestly, we're just going to put them all the way at the top. Like up here. Uh, like right here. Okay, that, that looks weird. Okay, thank you, Mr. Hopper. I, I very much appreciate that. We'll put it right here and right here. Okay. And then we'll just do like a chest like this. And then basically connect these. So, pretty simple system. But this is going to give us like way more chest storage than we could have ever dreamed of before. And let me think how to make this maximum like efficiency with the size. One second. Plus, you can always play a game too. You can try to keep mine all the ores. It is possible, but it does take quite a bit. And you just want to be careful you don't break your piston, because then you have to, like, you know, block the lava and all this stuff. So, to do what I'm trying to do, I'm going to need some more iron, so that's why I'm here grinding out. But did I not get any? Oh! It's going to be in here, right? Oh, there's four iron. And there's four iron. Cool. So, I don't know how it picks which ore hopper to go into. Maybe it's like an even distribution. Uh, but what I'm going to do is basically make a line of hoppers that goes across here. Um, I know of a really efficient way that I got taught by someone named Mr. Skittles and Cairo. They taught me this method. So I will share it with you. It's an exclusive method. So don't be sharing it with nobody now. Don't be sharing this. 
Um, but it's actually super easy. Oh, we need so many more hoppers for this. You know what? For now, we're just going to do a simple storage system. I'm sorry. We will in next episode get to this. But I just realized I probably need like five or six stacks of iron. So we're going to have to do a lot of work off camera just mining, which is fine. I mean, that's just that's part of the skyblock grind. I do not mind mining at all. But obviously for a video, I can't just sit there and mine the whole time. I don't think too many people would want to watch that, which is okay. Completely understandable. There's no shot. We didn't make enough. You know what? We made the exact number of chests we need, but we put those right there, which actually messed it up. So, you know what? We're just that smart, dude. Just that smart. Okay. And there we go. Cool. So now we have a ton of storage. I can grind this out an absolute ton. And when we come back next time, I should have a lot more money just from grinding my crops again. I won't build or do anything significant while I'm off camera. I'll just be grinding stuff. That way, when I come back next episode, we can hopefully make a house and make our island look really good. All that stuff just costs a lot of money that I don't have right now. But yeah, I'd love to see you on Neo Network Skyblock. You guys can hop on. The link is down in the top pinned comment and in the description below. You can play on Java or Bedrock, meaning you can play on your phone. You can play on your Xbox, your console. If you're on a console, though, you need to get an app on your phone called Bedrock Together that allows you to connect on your console. So get the Bedrock Together app on your phone. If you're on Java or your phone, you just enter the respective IPs and you can connect straight away. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. The secret code for today's episode is going to be 828, eight, sorry, 8022. So put that down in the comments below if you want to show me that you watched the entirety of the video. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. I'd appreciate it. But if you don't want to, you don't have to. And I'd also appreciate a like. Anyways, I'll see you guys soon for episode three. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.